All right, we're back with John Shop, and we're talking a little bit about making your own pie crust. And you've answered several questions. We have one more. Okay. What is blind baking and docking? Blind baking and docking. Um, blind baking is when you want to make like a cream pie, like a peanut butter cream pie or banana cream pie. Mm -hmm. You need the crust baked, but the filling's already cooked because it's cooked on the stovetop or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we blind bake the crust. That's the terminology. We we roll it out. We let it rest. We put it in a pan. We dock it as poking little holes in, like the pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So we dock it so it doesn't rise so much and maybe some pie weights depending on. And then we bake it till it's usually done or just underdone. And then we let okay. it come out and cool and then we fill our pie. Oh. That way. Okay. All right. so Makes sense. Learning so much. We're actually going to jump into this. We are. All right. Let's do so it. this is a, um, we're going to. Just a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. <laughs> so this is going to make enough for about four pie crust. And basically oh, it's a right. basic 3 2 1 dough. Mm -hmm. We've got um, three parts flour, but that mm -hmm. flour could be broken down into part cornmeal if you want a little bit of grit okay. um, or whole wheat flour or you can add some different things in there. This is just okay. um, a good all-purpose flour. Um, the fat, there's two parts of fat in here. We've chosen whole butter, but okay. we don't need to. We could um, say that's shortening or margarine or lard or a combination of those. It could be a good local ricotta goat cheese or some yeah. cream cheese or mm -hmm. something like that. Just some fat. Um, and we're going to break this up. Now, this is where we get into this whole, is it a mealy crust or a flaky crust? Yeah. If we leave big pieces of fat in here, we're going to end up um, with pockets of that fat, and it's going to be a flaky crust. The, okay. the fat melts away. The steam trapped in the dough and in the um, butter itself evaporate and create these little pockets. And then the fat that's behind kind of fries it and makes okay. these little crispy little crispy fissures okay. in your dough. And then was it salt that you added? Add a little bit of salt, okay. and salt is an important, super important flavoring additive for pastries. It really accentuates okay. the kind of the natural sweetness of the butter and, and the earthiness kind of of the flour. So okay. um, if we stop right here, um, this is almost like we're making a biscuit. We've worked our fat into our flour. Mm -hmm. There is no leavening in there. Then we put our one part liquid. This part is um, water. Okay. But this could be beer, this could be 7-Up, <gasps> it could be oh. almost any liquid you can think of. Uh -huh. um, and pretty much your pie is going to work out good. If you use something like that, does it incorporate that flavor? It does a little bit, it? and okay. the alcohol will cook off, so you don't mm -hmm. have to worry yeah. about you know kids drinking drinking beer. But some of that beer yeah. you guys just had would be great in a pie crust. Oh, for okay. Of and maybe that. some cheddar cheese mixed in for the fat. So you get this kind of um, you yes. know oh, quarter so cheddar mm -hmm. potato pie thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this part right now is also another area where we can get it um, a um, really dry, dense, tough dough. Okay. Once we add the liquid and hydrate, we want to just barely bring this together. Barely makes it just like a okay. good biscuit. Okay. So it's going to look kind of shaggy like this, and we basically would just dump the whole mass out, and it doesn't look doesn't look done at all, does it? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. So now we just I would kind be of freaking out yeah, at this moment. Now like, we just kind of compact this. it, okay. and we just kind of keep folding it on top of itself. And it's going to take maybe 12 or 13 folds, but just till this starts to hold a dough shape, and then okay. it's done and ready to rest and use. Okay. And that's what this block is mm -hmm. right next to I you? I am yes. telling you, I would have freaked fold? out at this yeah. point. No, 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 I see. would have thrown it all in yeah. the trash, yeah. and I would have been mad at you. Now, don't be mad at me. <laughs> see how it's starting to come together so, like a dough? Yes. Yeah. So you just keep doing that gently, and you want to do that just as, as few times as you can is going to yield a more tender dough. Okay. This is the same when you're making good biscuits. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. same type of thing. Just barely bring it bring it together. And then you take that, and then you form it into your yeah, pie crust? Yeah, just kind of roll it out. So if I move this guy out of the way, then you just kind of roll this out. Yeah. And um, can we do that? We got time for that, or not? I think we're running out of time. Are we okay? We're running really out of just, yeah. Okay. okay. So that just rolls right out, uh -huh. and then we line it into a pan. Yeah. And then and, how um, long fill you it however we want until um, it's done. Is always the right <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we ask, depends it's on, right. it depends on Every your time. oven, depends on how okay. loaded that oven is, all that stuff. Oh. Okay. John, awesome. thank you so oh, much. Yes, it is online. Daytimebluridge.com.